sign to discover perfectly preserved 18,000 year old puppy. And I was just thinking, wow, this was around before the extinction of the saber tooth tigers and American lions and woolly mammoths and other giant creatures that roamed across, for example, American landscape and probably even the Siberian and Russian landscape. This ended, though, at the late Pleistocene around 12,000 years ago, and I'm reading it now as a matter of information, so I don't get the date mixed up. These megafauna went extinct. It was a die-off called the Quaternary Extinction. And from what life science says, it was not starvation. It must have been something else. And a lot of people believe it could have been a comet impact that caused devastation in North America, the Northern Hemisphere, and worldwide. But that's another topic. And uh, this is something fascinating that they've found a, the oldest specimen of confirmed dog in history. And I'm looking at this. It looks to me like it's half wolf, half dog. I don't know. Were they wolves or were they just wild dogs? Uh, but look at the teeth. The teeth in the front are so strange because they're actually three-pronged. There's three prongs on each tooth, if you can see. I don't think dogs have teeth like that today. I don't know. I've never had it. Well... Uh, we did have a dog, but I never looked at her teeth. Her teeth, <laughs> I, we had a collie, but <laughs> uh, her teeth were not like that. Definitely not. Very strange. Very well preserved, of course, as you can see. Scientists in Sweden have recently announced the discovery of an 18,000-year-old puppy that was frozen in the, the Siberian permafrost, and they found this last summer. The specimen is the oldest confirmed dog in history. This is according to the Mind Unleashed, John Vibes. Researchers said they were unsure whether the preserved animal was a dog or a wolf because it was dated to a period when dogs were domesticated, but wolves were still running wild. The specimen has been named Dogor, D-O-G-O-R, which is said to be a Yakutian word for friend according to the Center for Paleogenetics. The Center for Paleogenetics says now we have some news on the 18,000-year-old wolf or dog puppy. Genome analysis show it's a male. So we asked our Russian colleague to name it. Thus the name of the puppy is Dogor. Dogor is the Akushan word for friend which seems very suitable. Now, two of the researchers who have studied the animal, Love Delan and Dave Stanton, believe that this discovery could teach us more about the early domestication of dogs. Delan is a professor of evolutionary genetics, and he seems very confident of the estimated date. And Delan explained, It was amazingly well preserved even before they cleaned it up. When we found it, we didn't know how old it was. They said they found it in a permafrost, but it happens that things get frozen in there that are only a few hundred years old or even a few decades. We were excited about it, but we had a healthy dose of skepticism until we radiocarboned dated it. Obviously, we got the results that it was 18,000 years old. That changes everything. When we got that result, it was amazing. 18,000 years ago in this is, is an interesting period of time where we think a lot of stuff is happening with both wolves and dogs genetically. We cannot separate it from a modern wolf, Pleistocene age, Ice Age wolf or dog. One reason why it might be difficult to say is because this one is right here there at the divergence time. So it could be a very early modern wolf, or very early dog, or a late Pleistocene wolf, he added. While well, the discovery was made last year in a remote part of northeastern Siberia, the researchers are just now releasing photos of this amazing find. The nearest town to the discovery site is Belaya Gora, which is a few hours away. 
Stanton surmised that the animal was so well preserved because it was trapped in a tunnel in the permafrost. He said, I feel fairly, fairly nervous about messing things up in my lab, messing something up. You don't want to screw it up. It seems that dogs were domesticated from a lineage of wolves that went extinct. So that's why it's such a difficult problem to work on to understand where and when dogs were domesticated. If you want to find an answer that you need to look at ancient samples because the population they were domesticated from does not appear to be around anymore. It's specimens like this that could help clear up that uh, clear up this issue, but we don't have the results yet to speculate on that, Stanton said. The rib bone of the specimen is in Sweden with Delan and Stanton, but the rest of the animal's remains, including the fur, is being studied by Sergei Fedorov in Russia. Fedorov says, just imagine this puppy has been lying underground in the same pose and condition for 18,000 years without being disturbed at all. I really carefully removed the dirt and other debris stuck on its body step by step, revealing a wonderful conditioned fur, which is extremely rare for animals of that time period, Fedorov said. I managed to find this image by Getty of a wolf with an open jaw so that we could take a look at his front teeth on the upper jaw. And they do look as if they're trident shaped. You can see the middle portion of each tooth in the front is longer than the side portion, which is looks like a tri type of trident. And so he has uh, teeth similar to the puppy, the uh, permafrost puppy that was found, the 18,000 year old specimen. But the teeth on the specimen that was found seem to be more clearly uh, indented uh, in their trident shapes. Because if you look at the wolf from a little bit farther away, you think that the tooth is just one, um, one point, but it's actually three. So that's very strange. Now, I, I have read an article, I, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but I read an article that said that uh, they were thinking of taking his D the DNA from the puppy uh, to re-clone uh, it, to not to clone it, it's not a clone, but well, I don't know what you would say, to uh, somehow um, re revive its uh, specimen, its uh, species. Now, I don't know if that's possible. I think they've done that with uh, some previous permafrost animals. But uh, if I remember correctly, that's what I read in one of the articles before I read this one for you. So we'll see what happens. They keep finding various animals in there. They've found um, the woolly mammoth, we know, a little while back, and now they've found this. This is not the only specimen they recently found. They, only, they also found a group of elephants in the permafrost. And uh, they deduced that the, because of the fact that they were in a pit and they were in pieces, that uh, they were hunted by humans for food. And their pieces were uh, somehow discarded like that or cut up and discarded or kept somewhere. But obviously they were cut up for uh, provisions. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. 
Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.